Hello and welcome. Today we are going to work on dual level sketch. So we are going to make this object. As long as we have the same dimensions and the color of the sketch turns to black, it means it is correct. And make sure to use the um, unit millimeter. So the first thing we are going to go to document menu and we're going to go to workspace units and we're going to change it to millimeter. Everyone might have a different approach. So you guys are going to watch my approach now. So I'm going to click the front view, sketch, and I'm going to click the front. I'm going to start the first making the circles. So this one, the first circle. I'm going to make one more and one more. So there are three circles. I'm going to put the dimension of each circle. That is supposed to be 45 millimeter. And this one's supposed to be 15 millimeter. I'm gonna just zoom out a little bit. And this one's supposed to be also 15 millimeter. Now I'm gonna use the construction lines. I'm gonna click the line and I'm gonna click the construction. And I'm going to connect the center of to each circle to each other. Okay, now let's put the distance between this each circle, each other. So I just click the center. The center is 200 millimeter and center to one more time. Escape, click the dimension, center to center is 125 millimeter. And the angle between these two is 120 millimeter. Zoom out. Right. So we have the first part is completed. Now I'm going to use center point arc. I'm going to start from the center. That's the first one. And I'm going to make one more here. That's the second one, and one center point arc here. That's the three, and one center point arc is here. Okay, now let's put the dimension of them. So the dimension of the, this one is supposed to be 50. Now I'm going to use the line tool, and I'm going to connect them. So I'm going to click the line tool and I'm going to connect these arcs to each other. It will not look good in the first look, but I'm going to use the geometric constraints. I'm going to use the dimension tools and final sketch should be exactly what am I expecting. Okay, now let's use the some geometric constraints. First of all, these two lines are supposed to be same. So I'm going to use the equal tool. And these are supposed to be equal. Now these are supposed to be parallel to this line. So I'm going to use the parallel constraint. Parallel. So this line is supposed to be parallel with this. And this line is supposed to be parallel with this one. So this part is completed. And then distance from here to here is supposed to be 35. So I'm going to click the dimension. Distance between these two lines is supposed to be 35 millimeter. So this part is completed. Now here, same I'm going to use first equal constraint. So this line is supposed to be equal with this. And this one is supposed to be parallel with this line. So I'm going to use the parallel constraint. So this line is supposed to be parallel with this. And this line is supposed to be parallel with this one. So they all are parallel. Now what is the next step? We are going to use the tangent. And I want them. This line is exactly touching this one. So I'm going to click this line. Arc. And this one is completed. And this one is supposed to be touching this one. Right now, the last part, the distance from here to here, is supposed to be um, 35 also. So I'm going to click here to here. 
that is supposed to be 35 millimeter there we go it is completed so i'm gonna just click the escape tool and just put some dim dimensions like a look organize them so designer should see them clearly so that's 45 is the diameter of the circle 50 is radius of the arc let's put it here and this is 125 this is from here to here this is also 15 let's put this one the 35 yes it looks better now thank you for watching